Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can turn photos like this into this. And that too, just by using your smartphone. So let's go. Now for this, we are going to need three things. A good looking portrait with a clean white background, any landscape image that you want to use, and Google Snapseed photo editing app. Now, if you are using this app for the first time, you can check out my another video in which I have explained this app from starting to end. You can just click here and watch that one right now. Now, once you have all those three things in your phone, it's time to jump in and start editing a photo. Now, once you open the app, you can simply just tap here and select the portrait that we are going to use. And the first thing that we want to do is to make that background really clean. Now, for that, I'm going to use the selective tool. And I'm just going to drag it to the corners and brighten up the whole background. Now once that's done, we are going into tools again and drop a photo for Instagram into the ratio of 5 to 4 which is the maximum screen real estate you get on Instagram so that is what we are going to do and this looks good and then we are going to use the main tool for this image which is our double exposure now this double exposure basically means merging two images professionally we do it in Photoshop but that is a very lengthy and detailed process and obviously not everyone can do it so here's a user friendly alternative for that so what we are going to do is tap here and add the image that we are going to use. I'm just going to rotate it to the right and position it uh, somewhere here I think. Yeah, this will look good. And once that's done, we are going to tap here and raise the opacity to 100. And after that, you just tap here and touch on view edits. And then you can tap on double exposure and select this paintbrush. Now using this tool you can paint over the area that you want to apply this effect to. So I will just totally paint over this area right here because I want it to be fully covered with the other image. And after that we are just going to zoom in a bit and here I'll decrease the opacity to 75 and then paint over the hairs. And then we will decrease it to 50 then paint over the hand and the face as well Make sure you have covered every inch of skin that you see here, leaving the mouth, nose and eyes. Now we will simply tap on done. And then we are going to enhance this image because it is not looking quite good right now. So you can just simply go into the app and select the other editing tools to enhance it and make it like the picture that we saw earlier in this video. So here I will go to tune image, I'll increase the brightness a bit, a bit of contrast, I'll raise the ambience to 100 and I'll decrease the saturation to minus 100, make it black and white and then I'm going to raise the highlights a bit and decrease the shadows and then we are going to the detail tool, raise the structure, sharpen it a bit and then we will go to this tonal contrast now as you can see here uh, here in the bottom the white area is not looking that good so we are going to correct that as well for that we are going to select this brush tool and select dodge and burn which is already selected and then we are going to paint over the area that we want to heal and as you can see it is looking good now right and at last I'm going to tap here and simply select the preset name pop and as you can see it enhanced the image a bit more 
you can browse and select any preset that you want but for me the pop one will work fine right now so I'm just going to stick with that and at last using the selective tool I'm going to pop the eye a bit because why not so I just reduce the radius increase the brightness and the structure I think this is looking fine so we went from here to here now you can try this out with as many portraits as you want because there is actually no limit to creativity so go ahead try this method out and if you really do do share them with me on instagram just by tagging hashtag raghav and i'll make sure to check them out and feature them on my stories as well so this was all for this video. I hope you guys liked this one. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.